Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mondal. Today's experiment is physical and chemical properties. Let's get started with the first demo. I have a copper wire which I'm going to heat it. So this is how it looks like after heating. Now I'm going to dip it into HCl solution. And now I'm going to dip my copper wet. The HCl has turned pale yellow. So the brownish tinge on the copper is gone and the HCl has turned pale yellow. So for part A demo, we are going to take a clean beaker and we are going to add some camphor. So camphor is a white solid. We are going to take a clean evaporating dish and place it on the beaker and I'm going to place some ice on top of the evaporating dish. And this is going to go on top of the hot plate. And we will gently heat it and see what happens. Pretty much all the camphor has evaporated from the beaker. What you see is all the camphor is sticking to the bottom of the cold evaporating dish. So the water is gently boiling. I'm going to turn the heat off. So here's my methanol with a boiling stone. I'm going to insert my thermometer, which is connected to a stopper. And the thermometer tip should be about one centimeter above the alcohol. I'm going to clamp this on top of the hot water beaker. Now I have clamped my test tube. I'm going to gently lower this inside the hot water. We are waiting for a steady drip from the tip of the thermometer. The alcohol boiling, but we will wait until there is a steady drip. So we see a steady drip from the tip of the thermometer every few seconds. We're going to look at the temperature in the thermometer. So for part C unknown, I'm using unknown A. I'm going to use about five milliliters of the alcohol. Add a boiling stone. And then use the thermometer with the stopper. Now I'm going to clamp it above the hot water beaker. Now it's clamped, I'm going to lower it down into the hot water.
we see a steady drip from the tip of the thermometer, we are going to take a look at the temperature. So I have two test tubes. I'm going to add some DI water in each test tube. About 20 drops, which is about one milliliters. And now in one test tube, I'm going to add copper sulfate. And give it a mix. I will let this stand. And then in the other test tube, I'm going to add calcium carbonate. So I have two test tubes, I'm going to add 20 drops of water in each test tube and then in one test tube I'm adding some methanol which is this one, it's clearly miscible, one layer. To the other test tube I'm going to add a few drops of amyl alcohol. I'm going to give it a mix. can see some condensation on the top of the test tube. If you take a puff of the gas evolving, it smells ammonia. Separate test tube for potassium bicarbonate. I'm going to add pea-sized potassium bicarbonate in the test tube. It has some cracking sound and some condensation on top of the test tube. So I have two test tubes. In one I'm going to add 20 drops of sodium sulfate. The other test tube I'm going to add 20 drops of sodium carbonate. So this is sodium sulfate. I'm going to add a few drops of HCl. and give it a mix. So that's my sodium carbonate. I'm going to add a few drops of HCl. And as you can see, there's some gas evolution. So I have two test tubes. So on the left one, I'm going to add 20 drops of calcium nitrate. And the right one, I'm adding 20 drops of copper nitrate. Now to each of the test tube, I'm going to add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide. So the calcium nitrate produces a white colored precipitate and the copper nitrate produces a, a blue precipitate. 